one. Hello, everyone. Eric? Hello, everyone. How are you? David, how are you? My name is Eric Marjorie, president and founder of Premier Opera Foundation. The foundation whose mission is dedicated to the promotion and preservation of the operatic art form through discovering, nurturing, and honoring the most promising up and coming opera singers in the world today, enhancing their careers through financial and ongoing advisory support. Today is our sixth annual international vocal competition. And over the years, we've assembled the most esteemed operatic judging panels consisting of elite industry professionals international theaters and casting directors, and world-renowned superstars to discover and honor the most promising up-and-coming young opera singers in the world today. The foundation is proud to offer generous awards and special prizes to the winners of our vocal competition, as well as to provide them with incredible opportunities to advance their careers via casting auditions, intensive training programs, and other forms of direct support. With that, I would like to introduce David Blackburn, Vice President of the Foundation, as well as founder of NIOP Audition. David, how are you today? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. I have a little crunchy voice because everybody in the world is sick, if you haven't noticed, and I'm getting over being sick. Um, what I wanted to talk about is, so today what we're hearing is we're hearing the virtual finalists. Now, what that means is the competition for, I think this is the second year in a row, after the after everybody was virtual for a year because of the pandemic, we decided to continue that to get a more international scope uh, in the competition um, by having, by splitting the competition into a virtual portion and a live portion. And the virtual portion is open literally to anyone in the entire world via video and we judge it via video all the way down to the finals like this. So we have winners can be from literally any place in the entire world. As well as that, we have the live portion, which starts next week in New York City, where people that can get to New York City, they sing live for sometimes a completely different panel of judges uh, live like a regular audition happened. And the way that we separate things is the winners... There are virtual winners and there are live winners, and we keep that separate so that so that competing is equal. Now, for this virtual portion today and the finalists, we have eight women and seven men, pretty evenly split. However, these 15 finalists were pulled from over 350 registrants. We chose about 170 semifinalists that were gone through by the jury panel where we had 27 countries from around the world represented. And even in the finalists today, there are eight countries represented amongst these 15 singers today. Now, what I'd also like to do is I'd like to introduce to you, even though you can't see them, you'll see a couple of them in a minute, but um, they're out there watching the live stream and voting via the, via the online voting system that we have set up. Our wonderful jury, and who is watching today and adjudicating these artists is actually quite an incredible group of people from all over the world. There's Eric and there's me on with our professional affiliations as well. However, there's also David Lomeli, who is the chief artistic officer and casting consultant for Santa Fe Opera and the Bayerische Staatsoper in Munich, as well as Dallas Opera and Atlanta Opera. Konstantin Orbelian, who's the music director of New York City Opera and chief conductor of the Kauna City Symphony Orchestra and head of Delos Records. We have Dominic Licht, who you're gonna to get to meet in a moment, who is the casting and artistic planning for the Royal Danish Opera in Copenhagen and the Salzburg Easter Festival, the Pfingsten Festspiel. 
Um, we have Alexander Fernandez, who is the casting director for the Opera Nacional de Chile in Santiago, the, the Teatro Municipal, and opera, also for the Opera de Tenerife, uh, not, not a bad place to have to work. We have Brian Speck, who is the artistic director of the Houston Grand Opera Studio, who you're also going to meet in just a moment. However, we also have Beatrice Benzi, who is a master vocal coach at Teatro alla Scala di Milano, at the Accademia Teatro alla Scala, and at the Institute for Young Dramatic Voices, which was founded by and is run by world famous dramatic mezzo soprano Dolores Ajic. In addition to that, we also have Alan Fisher, who is the chair of the vocal music faculty formerly and a stage director. He was the chair of the vocal music faculty at the Governor's School for the Arts, a prelude to performance. He also freelances as a stage director. And they're all joining us uh, virtually to watch these finals. However, um, Eric, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Yes, no, that, that's, that's fantastic, David. And, and it's so true to have um, these wonderful uh, industry professionals and casting people with us to, you know, it, it's not only a competition to win prizes because of all, of course, we also offer awards in monetary cash prizes and special awards, but it's an opportunity for these singers to be put in front of the industry people that could really help to move their career, career forward. And, you know, uh, during this period, uh, you know, as in the pandemic and, and coming out, you know, uh, we have really tried to remain a beacon of hope to support, you know, all artists during the difficult period uh, by continuing to host our competition and training initiatives, some of which were just virtual during that period. Uh, but now we're very excited to, you know, get back live and, and completely fully live. Um, to that point, to date, we've given away what is valued over $175,000 in cash prizes and special awards to international emerging singers. So if you'd like to be part of our premier family, we would ask you, anyone listening out there who's an opera lover or a lover of you know, young singers and emerging talent to help them get to the next level, we'd ask you to consider you know, a completely 100% tax deductible donation to help us continue our endeavors. There are many different options. We'll come back to that later on. Um, but if you look also in the YouTube video detail link, you'll see um, some information about, more about the foundation and where you can go to donate, as well as the program for today, for today's singers. So that's, that's uh, very exciting um, as well. Absolutely. And we, we can repeat that it is a fully 501c3 venture. So, so all donations are fully tax deductible. Um, and if you want to get involved more, um, that's also a way that we could, we would enjoy your, your help. So um, this is a labor of love and it is about helping singers. The track record we have for finding uh, artists when you download the program where there's a link in the, in the description yeah. under the video um, it has the past winners and you'll notice that they read like a who's who of the hottest upcoming stars in the opera world today. Um, and there are have... definitely, yeah, go ahead, Dave. No, no, no. I was about to say that we actually were very fortunate that the, the completely virtual version that we did two years ago, our two first prize winners, uh, Yaritza Vélez and um, Kiman Mara both actually found themselves singing a production together with Renee Fleming and Patrick Summers in Aspen the summer afterwards. Aspen, yeah. So. yeah, that was great. Um, you know, just this, just from the past year, um, there were professional contacts and role debuts offered, including from the Biodiesel Stats Opera, Stats Opera Stuttgart, Stadt Theater Bern, Theater Air Force, Danish Royal Opera, and New York City Opera. Just from just from last year's competition, you know, we we asked the uh, the singers to to let us know what's happening in their careers afterwards. Four of our winners signed with IMG artists after um, that. Two with premier artists, and there were one or two that were accepted to major international level studios, um, including in Zurich, Houston Grand Opera, and the San Francisco Opera as well. So there, it's it, there's a lot of opportunity for singers who are part of part of our offerings, which is really great. And, right. and now let, David, I'll, I'll, 
along with that, when you uh, when we intro one of our next jury members, we could talk about how uh, our virtual first place winner, male first place winner, is now in one of the top studios in, He's in now the opera live, world. live in person instead of virtual. Um, <laughs> let me explain a little bit about how how this will function, uh, what to expect for this finals. The way that this will work is um, we're going to hear, instead of hearing a singer and then talking, hearing a singer and talking, in the interest of time, what we will do is once we begin the singing, you will hear the first eight singers in the program, um, in the order that they are in the program, you will hear them without a break. Then we will take a break, we'll come back with you, and then we're actually going to invite as many of the finalists as are available, we'll come in and we'll have a short conversation with the finalists as to their experience, what's going on with them, what they think of these things. After that, we'll hear the final seven finalists, and then we'll come back and explain to you how you can follow who wins and take part in the live from New York finals and the prize ceremony, which will happen one week from now, uh, also, also live streamed if you can't be there in New York live. Uh, then you can watch it via live stream. And that link is also in the description. So to cover a couple, the links in the description, just briefly to cover those, there is a link to today's program so that you can follow along with who's singing and what they're singing. There are links to donate so that you can help support our endeavors with the foundation to help these amazing young singers from all over the world. There's also a link to next week's Live from New York finals, which will also be the prize ceremony for both today's virtual finals and the live finals. So all of that are links in the description. Um, now, should we bring in Brian and Dominic? Okay, yep. so yep. we are very, very lucky that we have with us two of the judges before they have to do their hard, 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 difficult work. We have Brian Speck, the uh, artistic director of the Houston Grand Opera Studio, and we have Dominic Licht from Copenhagen and the Salzburg Easter Festival. We're going to bring them in and kind of get their opinion about how the process was and their jobs, what they're looking for, et cetera, et cetera. So they're going to come in and check audio and then turn your cameras on and we'll be able to see you. Hello there. Hello, hello. Hi there. Hi there. So where, where are you each calling in from? I assume you're in Houston, Brian. Yep, I'm in my home in Houston, Texas. Oh, Dominic, where are you these days? I'm in Salzburg, Austria. Ah. So at home and small. <laughs> Which is very nice. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for being part of this process uh, over the past weeks. Um, had, have you, did you find it interesting? Did you find, what did you think of the variation of singing that you went through listening? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was really interesting, especially in this virtual competition to have the chance to hear singers truly from all over the world. I was just amazed by the array of talent, um, that comes really from every corner of the globe. And for me, that's just incredibly valuable because we're always looking for the best talent, no matter where it's located in the world. And we want to, to know who those people are. So it's a discovery for me and a chance to hear singers that I probably wouldn't normally come across in Houston or anywhere in the United States. So the international reach for me was really valuable and interesting. Wonderful. Uh, it's Dominic? like this, this, the same here. It's probably, you know, um, what you say, Brian, it, like you don't get across with them. Um, it's it's here the same with the American singers. It's like a perfect platform for them to actually like or for me to get an overview what's what's out there and and what talent is there, which I, you know, they don't send applications or something. So it's like a big list of great names and great voices and so therefore it's like a, a gift for us I guess just to to listen to all of them and and pick like the raisins out of that wow that's wonderful that's wonderful yeah no and to that point I mean we've had David I mean uh this year the the finalists I mean we have one from Kenya two from Ukraine uh two from where else? Armenia the US, Armenia is a powerhouse these days yeah Armenia we're probably forgetting, uh, but but it's it's a great array of uh, some great talent. 
you know, we have from Croatia. All over the world. Croatia, it's, it's yeah. A, it's a veritable World's Cup we got going on here. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, the timing with Croatia <laughs> holding its own. We have no one from Argentina. Let's not talk though, about the World Cup so much as a German. <laughs> my heart is bleeding, so stop that right away. <laughs> just, just don't, don't mention it. But Brian, Brian, we do have to bring up one thing because you obviously we alluded to this earlier, but it was you actually have in your program now. T- tell us the story. I won't I won't spoil it. So certainly. Yeah, uh, I was so glad last year to meet Navasar Hokobian, who was the first place winner baritone from Armenia. And uh, in hearing him in this competition, I was immediately struck by his talent. It was unmistakable. Uh, so I started asking questions about him, of course, and reading through his resume and learning about him and ultimately reached out to him and invited him to join our competition in Houston just a couple of months after the finals of this virtual competition. So it was his first time in the United States uh, through a, a whirlwind visa process. We managed to get him in and he came to the US um, really not speaking any English at that point. Uh, we gave him lots of help and support and he sailed through all the rounds of our competition and won first place in our competition as well. Um, and the whole company was so impressed by his talent. At that point, we invited him to join the Houston Grand Opera Studio. And so he moved here in June, it immediately began a really intensive English study program. And today he's speaking conversationally easily and uh, really thriving in his time in Houston, um, has already made his Houston Grand Opera debut on our stage. So it's been less than a year, amazingly, I think, just under a year since I first met Navasard and so pleased to have him in Houston. Um, and his talent, I think, brings so much to our stage. He's a joy to work with, and it's just been a big success story. So I'm so happy to have had the chance to meet him and to help him along his way. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's yeah, Dominic, yeah, you're going to want to write that name down, too, um, because, yeah, he's, already. he's major. Yeah, he's major. Um, and and a genuinely kind person as well, which is nice when when a voice like that comes out of somebody that you actually like to be around a lot too is 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 very nice too. Um, That's fantastic, uh, David. If I may, uh, Dominic, when when you were last in New York, um, you heard one of our live um, finalists who was one of the winners, and I believe, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, there might be something up coming for him I don't know if um you could speak about that but um with uh, uh with one of the tenors who won she the first fun. place prize yeah uh, about Thomas um I I must say Thomas is one of these rare gems which I just love you know you, it's like this is a singer to to be explored and I've just recently by the way heard him in the um in the Operalia competition as well where I think just did fantastic, but um, I've heard him and and he's like not only a, a singer, he's a performer. He's like the package, yeah. you know. He is like a, a stage great actor. Animal. He he sang the Worm um, in the final last yeah. year, and it just blew me away. Like how someone has like so much, um, it, so much to give and so much to show, and not only vocally but like you know cynically as well. And so I. I hired him um, for uh, four roles in um, the oh. uh, Edel Soul, which is a production from Kleinborn um, directed by Barry Kosky. And it needs for these characters, it needs like an, I mean, whoever worked with Barry knows that, you know, you need like a, like a performer, you know, only need a singer, you need, you need the, the famous package. And he is completely that. And I'm very excited to welcome him next year in Copenhagen. And it's, it's probably not the last project um, I, I do with him because I'm, I'm a huge fan and I would have never ever come up with that name probably if I wouldn't have been in New York and hearing him and seeing him and experience him in life. That's great. Yeah. He's and and he was one of those that almost <laughs> immediately, what did he do? He did the the Schmied aria, yeah. Um dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 and immediately took over the took over the stage <laughs> as if it was literally built for <laughs> his performance. <laughs> And yeah. how many times do you get to a major vocal competition and a spiel tenor wins the first place? Yes. It's, but he is I, so I think, extraordinary. Yeah. 
his uh, his bio says he was a dark horse in the competition, I believe. And he was, because <laughs> you're right. I mean, a character tenor, like winning one of the first place prizes is not necessarily common. And it shows you once more, you know, which I'm like, like telling every spiel and character tenor or every lyric who thinks to be lyric, but is actually a spiel tenor. There is a career out there. If you're really mm -hmm. good and like, if you are like pulling everything off and like, amazing on stage and th this is a, a cool fach to be in and and you even can win here we go a big competition and so you know he kicked out some alfredos and some rodolfos and and all of that and and won at the end and that's that's not a miracle but that's like that's what a competition is about and that's what our profession makes it so so exciting i agree i agree so shall we get to some singing are you guys sure, ready? Absolutely. Fabulous. So I'm going to I'm going to cut you guys off or you can just yeah. leave the the meeting and then we will be in touch um throughout, okay? Thank you again. Thanks a whole lot. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so Eric um, we're going to hear the first eight singers, starting first with Ole yeah. Lebedev from Ukraine and through Gagik Vardanyan from Armenia. Um, yeah. And then we will be back with you guys. So I hope that all of you out there enjoy this um, and enjoy hearing some wonderful singing. So we'll see you at the at the end of the of the eight singers. OK. We have to turn off video and muting. Yeah. 
fra i colpi mi do un doppio cannone spalancata la breccia e di già e fra i colpi mi do un doppio cannone spalancata la breccia e di già Son tutte papà, son tutte papà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia, che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Tragedia qui nasce il dovrà. Per pietà quelle ciglia abbassate. Galopando se va la ragione E fra i colpi di doppio cannone Spalancata la breccia e di già Ma al finire della nostra commedia Che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà Dico bene Grazie Ma al finire della nostra commedia Che tragedia qui nasce il dovrà Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia qui nasce dovrà. Ma il finire della nostra commedia, che tragedia, che tragedia qui nasce dovrà. Che tragedia qui nasce dovrà. Che tragedia nascerà. Che tragedia qui nasce dovrà. Che tragedia nascerà. Oh, no. 
Oh, <laughs> 
think <clears throat> some pretty great singing i gotta say that was my feeling what do you think eric oh. oh can't hear you can't hear you that was really wonderful oh yeah fantastic shall we bring everybody in um yes let's do <laughs> everybody it. that's here okay so here we go we're all coming in <laughs> From all, oh my gosh, I think we have everybody. Hello. Hey, Ole. Many, many of them. Oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. Wow. Look at everybody. Uh oh. Hey, Ani. Hello. You're sideways. You gotta go that way. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, congratulations, hello. everyone! It's nice to see you. Yes, absolutely. And nice wow. to hear you. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's pretty amazing to get videos in from all over the world and be and like we we've hello. mentioned before. Hello, hello. To be discovered, uh, to discover you guys is pretty amazing, and here's such wonderful, amazing talent. So, congratulations to you all, really. Thank you. Why don't Why don't we go around um, and and everybody introduce yourself and say where you're from? Ole, you start first because you're you're in my top right corner. Okay. Hi, hi everybody. I'm Ole Klebedev. I'm a Ukrainian baritone. Uh, right now, I'm in uh, in uh, Dortmund, living in Dortmund, in Germany, and uh, doing my third opera studio. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep doing them till you get it right, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I, I, thank you for for joining us. I uh, um, and uh, we already heard you. You opened us up with Dandini. Yep. Started us off, Gagik. Tell us. Hello, everyone. Where where are you? Hello. Are you in Yerevan? Yes, at the moment I am in Yerevan, in my country. I come back to Armenia because I worked in Germany the last two years. Uh, I, wo I worked in Hannover Staatsopera. Wonderful. Yeah, and uh, after that I come back and at the moment I am in Armenian Young Artist Opera Program in Armenian Opera. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. wonderful. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure to hear you. Thank you so much. It's an honor for me. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> wonderful. El, uh, Elmina? Hi. Nice to meet you. First of all, uh, yes. thank you. It is great team for the, that kind of opportunity for our great young singers. It's a kind of rarity to participate uh, from the long distance competition. So, my name is Elmina Hassan. I'm 22 years old. Actually, 22. I'm from Azerbaijan. Yes, I'm 22 wow. years old. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I'm second year master degree in Felicity Conservatory, but actually I'm from Azerbaijan, Baku. And oh. I'm still living for one year in Georgia, so. Ah, uh, well, you don't yeah. have bad places to live. Azerbaijan and Georgia are beautiful places, both. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Wonderful. Hope you come well, to visit it. 
Uh, me too. Me too. Just to eat. Honestly, <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to eat my way through both countries. That's the real truth. Um, You're welcome. You're right thank you. Thank you so much for singing. And Katie, introduce yourself. We haven't heard Katie yet. She's she's going to be in the coming up group. Hi, yeah. everyone. Um, it's lovely to be here. And it's been a joy to hear the people singing so far. Um, I am Katie Stevenson. I'm a mezzo-soprano uh, originally from Nottinghamshire, a place called Mansfield in the middle of the UK. Um, but I'm currently at home in London. My Christmas tree in the background. Oh, <laughs> no. You're already in the mood. Already yeah. in the festivities. Well, we look forward to hearing you coming. Thank up. you. Um, Ani, first of all, congratulations, I have to say. Hello? Do we hear Hi, uh, yep, we hear Hi, you. Annie. Yes. Hi, Annie. Hi, um, Annie. Hi. And and where are you now? Oh, I'm now in US. <laughs> I'm in Houston, Texas. <laughs> oh yes. yes. But I'm Armenian mezzo soprano from Georgia. <laughs> ah, from Georgia, but oh, wow, raised okay. in Armenia. I was born in Georgia. Ah, oh, that's interesting. But you I'm Armenian. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this yes. is wonderful. And uh, well, and so we will hear you also coming up very soon. Yes. Mm. So um, we're going through here, not frankly, just in the order that you're on my screen. Um, Griffin, can you introduce yourself and let us know where you're, where yeah, you sure. are, where you're sure, from? Sure, sure. Um, my name is Griffin Tracy. I'm a bass I'm originally from Golden, Colorado, but uh, right now I'm living in Philadelphia. Ah, that's yeah. wonderful. It must be beautiful, Golden, Colorado. It is. Is that where the nice. train is? Is that where the, the is that the is there There's the train quite a that few goes? Trains over? like the Durango line, maybe. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, there was one of them. I remember a tourist train there that that, there, that we took when I was a wee boy. Ah, there you go. Yeah, must yeah, be yeah, it. Yeah. So, well, we look forward to hearing you as well coming up. No, we um, heard. Her. We heard a person. Oh, um, oh, duh. Uh, that's Hagen. right. We just did. Oh my gosh, it's because it, it, you know, you were so very blonde in the video, and the, and I guess the lighting in the room is is hiding my <laughs> blondness. No. Exactly, exactly. Bravo, that was beautiful to hear, Thank honestly. You. So, um, and Leo. <laughs> Hello, my name is Leo Hi. Kim from South Korea. Uh, currently, I based in Vienna, and oh. I just. Yeah, I just uh, just graduated my uh, studium. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, now on these days, I prepare for my first debut in Bulgaria for uh, es Escamillo. Oh, oh well, wonderful. Yeah. Well, break a leg. Enjoy that. So and I just missed you. I was supposed to see you in Vienna and decided to get COVID instead. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I'm sorry I didn't get to hear you live just last week. So um, maybe next time. Absolutely next time. Uh, Gabrielle? Hello, uh, my name is Gabrielle Barkigia. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois, and right now um, I'm based in Detroit and I'm with the opera studio there with Detroit Opera. Oh, that's wonderful. wonderful. And what, what nationality is your name historically, your family? So um, my, my, uh, my dad is uh, Croatian. So I was really excited to see that we have another uh, a fellow Croatian singer here. So that was exactly. really fun to see today. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not signed on. And you guys are doing quite well in the World Cup. So, you know, yes, I hate to exactly. break it, but Portugal mm -hmm. got knocked out. But Morocco is now the first African nation ever in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Isn't that amazing? Which is Go awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But I was paying attention to all the singing. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Um, well, thank, thank you. you um, Andrew, thank you. tell us about you. Hi, everybody. Congratulations to all the finalists. Everybody sounds killer so far, and I'm really looking forward to hearing everybody else. Uh, and thanks to David, Eric, and the Premier Opera Foundation. Uh, I spent the last two years in Vienna with the Tiazza Naveen studio, and I'm currently in Chicago and based out of the U.S. Uh, for now, and got some exciting projects coming up, but uh, happy to be home in Chicago. Uh, the weather notwithstanding. So, <laughs> <laughs> how is it? How is it? How cold is it? 
exactly what you think. It's not so bad. It's like uh, it's like 40 degrees today, so warm, oh, or okay. about eight degrees Celsius for our friends over the on the other exactly. side of the ocean. So, not so bad. Oh, fabulous! Wonderful. Yes, and nice high e, by the way. Thanks. Thanks okay. very much. <laughs> From <laughs> one to another. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly. Jadine. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Jadine Graham. I'm a mezzo soprano from um, Mississippi, but I am now residing in Michigan. Um, I just finished, if you can hear in the background, um, the chorus of Aida with Detroit Opera. Oh wow! So you guys look at that. Both in in the in the na in der nea, they say. You know, look at you guys. Well, wonderful. It was wonderful to hear you again. Congrats on the on the finish in the show, Aliona. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and uh, congratulations uh, to finalist. <laughs> I'm Ukrainian soprano. Uh, moved uh, after February uh, to Berlin and living here with my husband. And um, I'm just singing. <laughs> everybody in opera somewhere, and I was just preparing uh, my the best and uh, just live. Living my life, <laughs> which is yeah. wonderful. Which yeah. is wonderful. Because begin all my life uh, was there, <laughs> and now the new life begin. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's, it's. I think. I think somehow everybody's it's sad keeping and thoughts. Somehow it's very happy, <laughs> but we have what we have. It's wonderful to see the, to see the other side of it as well for yeah. you, and I'm glad that the new life is working out well. And Berlin's a great city. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Matthew. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Hi, my name is Matthew Kosak. I'm an American baritone, originally from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm oh. in Berlin as well. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Eric and I are both, uh, you know, on that on that side. So um, <laughs> it's good to see you all. Congratulations to all the finalists for making it this far. It's my pleasure. I'm in all of our home away from home right now. Um, I'm in Opera America at the moment in New York. Oh. I had an audition this morning. So um, it's my pleasure to listen to you all. And yeah, look forward um, to something for you all later. This is amazing. Well, Thank look, you, from us, a round of applause to all of you. Bravi, bravi, bravi to yeah. you. you guys. Um, it's been a joy to take this ride with you. Um, Eric, you want to say something? Yeah, no. And just, I mean, the fact that there's so many, so much internationalness represented and you each have kind of your own interpretation of the pieces from the way that, you know, where you, where you were born, where you're living now and all those experiences in, in life. And it really shows um, in, in a lot of the material that you, you know, you've sent us and, and these finalist videos. So it, it, it's just great, the interconnectivity of the opera world. And, you know, I, many of you probably are just seeing each other for the first time, but likely, you know, as your careers progress, you'll, you, you very well will sing with one another or a few of you over the period. So uh, I think that's exciting, you know, uh, from that standpoint. Absolutely. So congratulations, really. Congratulations to all of you. And thank you. Thank you very much for, for offering your singing to our competition and in Boca Lupa a tutti. Okay. Thanks, guys. So now we will move on and hear the rest. So you guys check out of the call, and then Eric and I will talk about what's coming next. <coughs> Wonderful. Great, guys. Bye, Thank everyone. You. Have a nice no, day. And, and, Bye. You too. Bye. -bye. Thanks. And it's, it's really great, like, you know, like Dominic was talking about earlier and and um, and Brian, you know, Brian was able to hear Navasard last year, who was an Armenian baritone who now, you know, transported his life to Houston and he's there, which and doing excelling really well in, in the studio there. Um, and Dominic was able to hear live singers who now, you know, he cast, um, you know, at his theaters that he's working in. So it's pretty amazing. It's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities 
um, just putting yourself forward and, and staying out there. And, you know, that's how you continue to build the career and, and make it an international one, you know? Absolutely. And I think that what you said is very true that, that, these these people that were all on our screen together um at, is if they have careers which of course is difficult and not everybody has careers but if they have careers as they move forward in their in their professional lives they will meet each other and who knows where in the world and constantly meet each other again you know what it's like like a, this roving family that you're singing you look at the cast who you're singing with and you're like oh look who's going to be there oh great we can yeah, catch yeah, up yeah. Right. You know, it's uh, it's really it's it's a family that travels the world together and makes music every now and then, you know. Yeah. Well, like, hey, I, I saw you on that Zoom for the Premier Opera Foundation competition. And uh, now we're meeting live in person. Or I have to say, it really was like when when Yaritza sent me a picture of her and in, in, in Kiman. Um, yeah. I had no idea that they were there together and they yeah, sent me this picture. And I, I was thinking, how is this? From different parts of the world, from America and Chile, and now they're sitting in the same place. It's it's yeah, really amazing. That was from our 2020 competition, our, our male first place winner and our female first place winner. Absolutely. Pretty amazing. So, Pretty wild. Shall we listen to our last seven and then we'll come back? Yes. Yes. Okay, absolutely. so here we go. We're gonna start with Leo Kim from South Korea singing um Onegin's aria from Eugene Onegin Tchaikovsky. Um and uh, we'll finish up with the tenor singing Kedjeli Damanina, and then we'll see you afterwards. So here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. 
her was pretty and I wanted her wanted her bad but she wouldn't stop screaming Quiet. I had to make her stop. Uh, stop! I killed her, sister. I killed her with my own two hands.
End off with a Way beautiful to end high, like a like high note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the tenor in your blood, right? You were singing along. <laughs> Absolutely, I bet. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Daniela. He was singing along. I'm very sorry. <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that wow. was really wonderful. So I there mean, we have it again. Yeah, fantastic. What a great afternoon of singing. <laughs> it's wonderful. So thank you um, to to all of the finalists, to all of the semi-finalists, to all of the registrants. Um, it's been quite a very, very interesting, good year for singing, at least on the virtual side. And you have the live, the live uh, yes. auditions coming up all next week in New York City, right? Yes, the live in New York will hear about 150 singers and then kind of narrow them down to between 10 and 15. That will then live stream on the 
on uh, from New York on December 17th. <clears throat> so that will be very exciting as well. And uh, yeah, we will also announce these winners at that time as well. So the, the the singers that you heard today, we will you know award prizes to a few of them, and that will be announced on the seventeenth on the live stream uh, at that time. Which so, is David, the link yeah. is in the description down there. Is the link yes. for the the live from New York finals, uh, which will be one week from today. So join in. You'll hear. Yeah another great group of singers yeah. and see who wins from both the live and the virtual auditions. Yeah. So, you know, and I think it's, it's just uh, essential to bring home the point that, you know, these voices and these singers and opera in general and the arts really kind of amplify, uh, you know, the spirit of humanity and the interconnectivity of the world. And I, I think that's an important, you know, theme to kind of, keep in mind you know what we do uh what singers do what opera artists do and classical musicians is, is i certainly believe essential um to the health of humanity around the globe um and you know it gives chance when people are in the theaters or they're they're listening on a live stream like this it gives them a chance to just kind of forget about you know the problems in their own life or in the world and just really you know, I, I found myself at multiple times during um, this uh, live stream, just being in a different place and just really enraptured by what was going on. And so, you know, I, I it's great that these artists, you know, act as a beacon and, and a bridge to, you know, the world at large, you know, and, and there's that connection together. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it really is the world, because if you think, um Everywhere you go, it, it, there is the, the canon of repertoire that is sung. There's the standard repertoire, and then there's this almost standard repertoire in every language, in every culture. Yet, no matter where you go, whether it's Kenya, whether it's Armenia, whether it's South Korea, whether it's uh, Thailand, whether it's South Africa, you hear people from every possible different culture singing the same words, but singing it their way, singing that character, a Figaro <laughs> is never the same Figaro because it's a different culture behind it. Yet yeah. we all still recognize it. It really is something to bring people together worldwide. Yeah. And it's, it's quite beautiful. Well, and it's like some people um, would ask, well, how, how, could, how could you go to like five different Labo M performances or how many Traviata performances have you heard or seen? Well, you know, if there's a different cast, then it's a totally different experience potentially, you know. And and, you know, and also two different nights. Yeah. No, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> and you know, with their with um, where they're from, where you know we're all from, we all have a type of color to the voice too. So when you're hearing that's different true. singers, you know, there's not only their interpretation, but the color of the voice, the way that they grew up speaking, you know imbues the color of their sound and so i think that's that's exactly. very interesting too you know what's in the water um, yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly 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 um so so this concludes the virtual finals and um once again if if i can be the one to remind everyone now once again the work that we do at the premier opera foundation is a work of passion and a work of discovery and a work of love, not just for this music and the history of it and the future of it, but also for these artists that we provide a platform for them to be discovered, for them to be heard, no matter where they are in the world or live in front of us in different places in the world. Um, our goal is to take this beautiful art form that we all care about and that all of these artists and all of the hundreds of artists that registered care about and to find opportunities for these people to move forward. And the real truth is, is we can't do that without help. And it really is essential, even a small donation or a large donation or an idea of somebody that you think might be passionate about this helps because it's, it's a network, as you see, it's a network that goes all around the world 
And surely together we can find ways to create more opportunities. And like Eric said at the beginning, one thing that that I wanted to swing back about uh, back around and say is that during the pandemic, when our world closed, the opera world closed for business during the pandemic, we actually gave away $10,000 more than we did the year before. That was our commitment, is if the world's going to close, we're going to yell louder. Because what we need is for these artists to understand that no matter how difficult it is, and while the world is getting back into the opera world, Premier Opera Foundation is there to support them. And we need you to be there helping support us so that we can do this work that's so essential. There's also said. a link for yeah. that in the description. <laughs> Beautifully said, Again, no, honestly. I... Just push the link. Just, it's, it's, <laughs> you're just Did you ever work click for away. P did you ever work for PBS or something? I should have. I should have. I'm telling you. No, but I watched Mr. Rogers all the time. And I think that I think that that's what's wrong in the world today. There's for our next discussion. The world should watch <laughs> Mr. Rogers. That's what I think. So, Eric, uh, this, this has been a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate, uh, you know, us collaborating together and working together on these projects and, and everything um, that we're able, to, you know, to put together. And uh, really, it was, it was a great great uh virtual finals and we're looking forward to next week and uh live from new york and really fantastic and i and think if you say that online everyone. you get sued if you say that live from new york thing you might you have lauren michael oh, really? after you now yeah. live from, <laughs> from, new, from new, york. new york it's the premier opera foundation fin <laughs> oh sorry look big virtual applause for everybody yes. who's saying who was represented tonight and who took part in the virtual auditions and we thank you. We send you love. Um, see you next week. Yep. Thank you guys very much. Ciao. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.